Thank you for listening to our Canvas implementation updates for the month of December. For the past few months, we have been showing a list of milestones we are tracking toward for the start of the spring semester. We have checked off several of these with our launch of spring shells in mid-November and have several more that we hope to achieve before the end of the calendar year. First, let's quickly review what milestones are now in place in Canvas. Spring course shells were released in mid-November, which integrated the approved language for the minimum syllabus requirements as part of the overall template that has been applied to all spring course shells in Canvas. ORCA was launched alongside spring shells in mid-November with its section merging capabilities. To date, ORCA has merged 178 sections for College Station courses, with the largest merge occurring across 30 course sections. And the custom Canvas grade import tool has been improved upon and is now available for use for end of term grade submissions this fall. Now let's take a look at what we are working to have in place for the end of the calendar year as you prepare your Canvas course for spring. The first is distinguishing between teacher and alternate teacher roles. The present Compass real-time data does not identify the instructor type. EIS will add the identifier to the real-time data and ORCA will incorporate it so that not all instructors will be given the teacher role in Canvas. Likely the most anticipated ORCA enhancement is member management for course associate roles. This will create a self-service feature for instructors to add or remove users at the section level for lead TA, TA, grader, and grade submitter roles. This feature will also allow ORCA admins to add users at the section level for additional Canvas roles, including designer, observer, and auditor. Canvas course roles will be updated on a three times per day basis from the Compass feeds. Please note that users in these specific course roles will be added to sections only if FERPA and other required training have been completed. Ahead of this feature being in place, department schedulers may continue to add course associates to Compass, which get fed to ORCA three times per day. There are several enhancements that will follow these. We anticipate to make progress on the next round by the end of the calendar year and will look to implement ahead of the spring semester. The first is near real-time synchronization of student enrollments, which will apply section roster changes with respect to student add drops occurring in Compass to Canvas in near real-time. Next is to limit the period that instructors are allowed to create combined courses in ORCA. As a reminder, course instructors will be able to use ORCA to combine sections for spring until 11.59 p.m. on Monday, January 11th. After that, requests need to route through aihelp at tamu.edu. Additionally, updates to student preferred names will occur via an import to Canvas from the SIS on a daily basis. The ORCA web portal will have a web accessibility checker, which will fix any accessibility issues by automatically inspecting all pages and will be responsive, including mobile and small screen support, as well as work on major browsers, including Chrome, Edge, and Safari. We encourage you to use ORCA on a desktop browser until mobile is fully supported. Finally, a duplicate section feature will allow instructors to duplicate a real section and its roster and create a new Canvas course from it. This is a useful feature when a course in Compass combines the lab and lecture into a single section and an instructor wants to separate these in the LMS. We anticipate having this feature in place by summer 2021. Several more enhancements to ORCA are on the roadmap and will continue to improve the user experience of ORCA as well as in Canvas. The other notable enhancements to Canvas we are working to have in place by the end of the calendar year is the addition of several third-party tools, including LinkedIn Learning, Office 365, Perceptive, and Wireless Math Type and ChemType. Please note that no new LTIs will be added to eCampus beginning in the spring semester. We are taking a deep dive into devising a strategy for Canvas courses that functions similarly to how organizations do in eCampus. We have consulted with several universities as well as studied the current and future needs at Texas A&M. During the spring, we will pilot this functionality with target groups to look to scale the pilot for the fall 2021 semester. Similarly, we are drafting a third-party tool review process. After consultation with the LMS executive and advisory committees, in the new year, we will communicate next steps. Additional course roles are in the research and development phase. We will begin piloting a library role in the spring with a handful of courses. Similar work is underway with the Aggie Honor System Office to support academic integrity in the digital learning environment. And the change management approach to our Canvas implementation, which was put on hold last March with the onset of our COVID-19 response, will commence in the new year. We will utilize trends and patterns and usage data from fall to improve upon our adoption framework as we sunset eCampus. We received just over 700 service desk tickets for the month of November, down quite a bit for numbers we have seen all semester. 40% of those tickets were related to Canvas and about 50% related to eCampus or eCampus tools. 
Top Canvas ticket topics include enrollments, including adding TAs and alternate instructors to courses. The next revision of ORCA should allow course instructors to manage this themselves. Quizzes continues to be among the top inquiries, questions including setting up quizzes, grading of quizzes, submissions, and statistics. And we've received a lot of tickets about ORCA, mostly related to merging of courses. A few additional reminders from the AI service desk to share. First, eCampus will undergo maintenance on December 18th through 19th. During this time, the system will be unavailable. And the Office for Academic Innovation, including the service desk, will be closed in conjunction with the university's closure, beginning at noon on December 22nd. We look forward to serving the campus community again on Monday, January 4th. Our training team is offering additional office hours to support course instructors as the fall semester comes to a close. Last month, approximately 80 connections were made during office hours, with 74% of these connections having Canvas questions. Office hours have provided an invaluable opportunity for our staff to learn and support the Canvas continuous improvement model. Thank you so much for participating. A few training highlights to look forward to in the new year. We will host two days of half-day virtual training sessions led by Canvas learning specialist and former student Kenneth Rogers the week of January 11th. Course instructors and TAs can choose from two tracks. The first is getting started with Canvas, where participants will learn how to use Canvas to provide students with course content, or advanced Canvas training, where participants will learn to use Canvas features to increase student engagement and interactivity. Ahead of the spring semester, we will also offer trainings in how to use the Texas A&M template with any of the five teaching modalities, moving course content from fall to spring Canvas shells, and using integrated third-party tools to make course content accessible and enhance the student experience. We are also working alongside the Aggie Honor System Office now to learn how we can get out ahead of academic integrity issues for the spring. Forthcoming training opportunities will be announced in the new year. We encourage you to visit lms.tamu.edu under the Training and Support tab for more resources and live training opportunities. We wish each of you a restful and rejuvenating holiday season and our sincere thanks to the entire campus community for your contributions as we implement Canvas and enhance the digital learning environment at Texas A&M University during an extraordinary time.